Hi everybody, welcome to a very special edition of the Daily Dose at Home in honor of Endangered Species Day. Today we are going to explore some of the endangered and critically endangered species that are here in our care at the Calgary Zoo. But why are they here and what are we trying to do? Did you know that there are many species on our planet today that would not exist if it wasn't for zoos? Zoos are part of incredible conservation breeding programs that act as insurance against extinction in the wild. For example, the California condor or the simtar horned oryx are both animals that were completely extinct on our planet. But luckily, there were populations of them thriving in zoos. They were able to be reintroduced into the wild because they were genetically healthy and conservation breeding programs were able to use them as founders to re-establish those extinct in the wild populations. This is an incredibly important concept for us to understand with the conservation work that we are doing here at the Calgary Zoo. The Calgary Zoo has a number of endangered species in our care, including African crowned cranes, northern rockhopper penguins, ring-tailed lemurs, amur tigers, red pandas, Chevalsky's horses, and giraffes, as well as four critically endangered species, Vancouver Island marmots, western lowland gorillas, black and white rough lemurs, and the Egyptian tortoises. We also work with the critically endangered mountain bongo in Ibulu, Kenya. But what does it mean to be critically endangered or endangered, and who decides? The International Union for the Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, has developed a ranking system that helps us know whether a species is of least concern, near threatened, vulnerable, endangered, critically endangered, extinct in the wild, or extinct from our planet. And every species has one of those designations. Those designations are based on population surveys where uh, researchers around the world look to count and see both how many individuals are there, where are they, where are they living, but most importantly, what is happening to their populations. The way a population is trending is an incredibly important part of its conservation status. If it's staying the same, that's a great thing. Or if it's increasing, even better. But the concern comes when a population is declining, both how quickly and where. A population will be considered critically endangered if their species has declined over 90%, regardless of how many individuals are left. It's also important for us to understand how much habitat do they have, how many mature or breeding individuals are left in a species, and what is the likelihood that that species could go extinct based on the factors that are contributing to its decline. All of that comes together in the eyes UCN gives one of those status. But those are global status. They have to do with the total population on the planet. But one of the things that we know and understand is that different parts of a population of a species can be doing a little bit differently. Many of the animals that are in our care are part of conservation programs here at the Calgary Zoo are locally endangered. What that means is that even though overall on the planet there may still be a stable population, they have started to disappear from their historic ranges. A great example of that is the swift fox program because swift foxes were actually extirpated. That means completely gone from the landscape in Canada. So reintroducing them back was a really important part of putting them back in their ecosystem and restoring that balance that is so important. There may also be species that locally are doing okay, but their global numbers are a concern. So in Canada, we have something called COSWIC, the Committee on the Status of Endangered Wildlife in Canada. COSWIC helps us understand what is happening to wildlife here in our country so we can protect them under the Species at Risk Act. Animals like greater sage grouse are actually doing okay in some parts of their range in the United States, but there are fewer than 400 left here in Canada. So it's critically important that we work to restore them onto the landscape. Thank you so much for tuning in to this special edition of The Daily Dose at Home. I hope that helped you understand a little bit more about what it means to be an endangered species, who decides, and how we know who to protect. 
Here at the Calgary Zoo, it is our mission to sustain wildlife and wild places. And those rankings and systems from the IUCN and COSWIC help us know where to direct our resources so that we can have the biggest impact and save species from extinction. You're also part of that. By supporting the Calgary Zoo, you help us make these incredible conservation programs a reality. So thank you for supporting wildlife conservation and catch you on the next Daily Dose at Home.